Today, the Parliament of the World's Religions recognizes Dr. Zani's important and impactful work to bring attention and to urge action to end the state-sponsored genocide of the Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar. Dr. Zani's academic work and involvement in international activism on Burmese affairs and human rights truly embodies the values of the Parliament's Cultivation of Harmony Award. This award recognizes an individual who has made an outstanding contribution to the local and global interfaith community. By cultivating harmony and utilizing innovative interfaith tools, Dr. Zarni's work seeks to break down the barriers of misunderstanding and hatred that stand between Muslims and Buddhists in Myanmar, and which have played a major role in the genocide of the Rohingya people. Please join me in congratulating this year's Cultivation of Harmony Award winner, Dr. Zani. Mingalaba, that's in Burmese, peace be with you. And um, I'm not supposed to smile because the subject matter calls for solemnness because I conduct mass graves, walking tours with Buddhist monks and other opinion makers from my own country of Burma in the infamous Cambodia's killing fields. There is a sign, actually a number of signs in the mass graves when you take pictures out of respect for the victims, close to two million. Please do not smile. So, of course, I'm delighted that I'm, my work with the Cambodian Documentation Center, through which I run these mass graves tours and genocide sensitivity training and awareness about international law with good Buddhist artists, monks, Christian leaders, Muslim leaders. So I receive today's recognition from the parliament in painful memories of those Rohingya women, men and children, including infants who drowned who died and buried in mass graves in Southeast Asia, who drowned in Andaman Sea, trying to reach safety because the international community so far, over the last 38 years, since the first wave of mass violence began in 1978, directed by the state of Burma, today called Myanmar. International community, starting with the Security Council, has failed its responsibility to protect Rohingya people. The international governments have failed to make the slogan, never again, a reality. So today, this recognition, I hope, will amplify my small voice in calling the world's attention, particularly we the people's attention, to heed to the cries of the Rohingyas and to help end the slow genocide of the Rohingya, who I consider and who are part of Burma. Thank you very much.